Oh, this is me. I'm supposed to read. <laughs> I didn't realize I was supposed to read over here. Pretty little full screen there. Welcome back to PTL. <laughs> it's time for another high field hack as David continues his mission to find easier ways to do the things that take too much time in our lives. Yeah, stick it with me. I couldn't see. I was fixated okay. on this pillow. It's fine. It's okay. <laughs> well, we're sticking with our Love Week theme, and this is about creating a Valentine's Day brunch, but making it as easy as possible with a few simple tricks. Again, this time, the hacks are from my friend Chella Sanchez, and she has four of them. Ooh. Brunch on Valentine's Day is a sweet treat for your someone special, but Chella Sanchez, a local mom, wife, and businesswoman, is showing us it doesn't have to be a big production that morning. Our first hack is about bacon. Forget the frying pan, we're gonna bake it. Grab a baking pan, line it with one piece of foil. Yeah, do you put a rack on top of this then? Nope, it's extra cleaning. And put down the strips. Put them as close together as possible. She pops them in the oven and halfway through. Ooh! Look at how nice this is. She rotates the tray to make sure they bake evenly, but the strips don't have to be flipped over. We move on to something else, and then the timer goes off. She's gonna get the bacon. <laughs> the bacon comes out perfectly crispy. Bacon Jeez. Oh, oh no! <laughs> I lost some bacon. Too crispy. Let's see what we have. Oh. She says you can make it the night before and just warm it up. And the best part, when you take the foil off, no mess. Clean. Our second hack, a great way to make French toast croissant casserole. You could do it the night before. Step one is grease a pan. Get all the corners. You need about a dozen croissants. She cuts them up, but I just rip them. Next, we put eggs, milk, vanilla extract, a little maple syrup, cinnamon, and salt in a bowl and mix it all up. She uses a stand mixer, but you can do it by hand. Next, we add a layer of cream cheese and fruit preserves. So this ends up melting in the oven when you're baking it. On top, more croissants. Putting every single piece in. That's great. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Diabolical laugh. Then she pours the egg mixture on top to let it soak in. She covers the whole thing, refrigerates it, and all you have to do is pop it in the oven Valentine's morning. Everybody needs to have this recipe in their back pocket because it just makes you look super fancy. Hack number three now, a frittata that you prep beforehand. So a frittata is just like a fancy egg thing. She starts with butter in a pan. And the hack to this is? Doing the filling before time. For that, she chops up leeks. We add mushrooms, some salt, and she trusts me to chop scallions. We also add crumbles of some of that bacon we did. Okay, stop. Here's where you could just save the filling you made for the morning of the brunch, or go ahead and make the frittata now and heat the whole thing up that morning. We're gonna keep going. We mix up the eggs rather than adding milk. Listen to what Chella does, though. So you don't use milk, you use... I use water. I think water just gives you a fluffier egg, and it's you're gonna see once you put it in the oven that it just, like, it billows, and it's beautiful. She adds the eggs. Love that sound. She cooks it somewhat. And once again, <laughs> someone needs to invent smell a vision Smell a vision So you can smell this at home. We add cheddar cheese and then put the oven safe skillet into the oven and turn on the broiler to finish it off. About five minutes later, perfection. Our last hack comes out of the freezer. I like to chop up berries, freeze them, and then you have a like a, a yummy ice cube that you could eat. We put them in a glass. Add half Prosecco and half orange juice to make a delicious mimosa with a treat at the bottom. Cheers. Cheers. Happy Valentine's Day. Now it's time to eat what we've made, the frittata, fantastic. Oh, that's nice. And as for that French toast casserole? Mmm. Mm-hmm. It's very tasty. Mm -hmm. It's a scrumptious brunch, and thanks to some hacks, it doesn't have to make you crazy busy that morning. This is awesome. Thank you. Thank you, Chella. This is so good. Four high five. Ooh, four high five. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> You're mm. laughing at me eating. Ooh. It was really good. It <laughs> looks really good. I wish that we had it right here. I know. That frittata, I, I've never heard that putting water in.
makes it fluffier. Tip. What a yeah, good tip. All great tips. Yeah. Now, Chella is an overachiever. So she also has this buttery cinnamon sugar topping for the French toast casserole. You can do it. It is not mandatory, but she's kind enough that she has shared her entire French toast casserole recipe at PittsburghTodayLive.com. So you can check it out. You can do it at home. You can do it for Valentine's Day. And you should, given the sound effects we just heard. It sounds delicious. <laughs> it's really good. <laughs>